Hi there. Welcome to Snort Rules Tutorial. In this video, we will see how to create simple rule using Snort Rule Description Language. So Snort is a rule description language and this rule is divided into two sections. One section is referred as the header section and another section we call as description section. So Snort rules are extremely flexible and are easy to modify unlike many commercial and ideas. This is the one basic property of Snort rules. So these are sample rules that detect a sub-7 trojan. Here we can see lot of keywords alert, TCP, external net, 27374, then an operator, then another variable any, then parenthesis start and parenthesis end. So whatever elements before the parenthesis, this part, are called rule header. Okay, and uh, element in the parenthesis are called rule options. So this section is an header, and this section is called the options. Okay, so this option is defined for the alert. The protocol is used for TCP. This is the environment variable external net. This is a port number. Another environment variable home net any and the options what the tcp flag is a the content is this so like this like this we can create a rule so we can see alert here so it can be of many categories like rule action alert log pass activate dynamic drop reject as drop so these are the following action can be defined in our rules so all keywords had specific many meanings in this we can see activate and dynamic so we can also enable rules when snort is running at the runtime so dynamically we can add the rules and we'll see how to configure that So let's go keyword one by one in this note rules. Like this, we have seen that alert. So this action to take, it can be log, pass, activate, and dynamic. Then the TCP, this is a protocol. This can also be UDP, ICMP, or IP. External net, this is a source address. So this is a variable. Specific IP is OK. This is the port number 27374, source port. And the negation not 21 means the range 121024. Okay. Then we have a direction. This is the direction. Then we have home net. So this is the destination address. This is also a variable here. And N is the destination port. So this is the how rules are constructed using the syntax. Now we'll see the rule option. We can see message backdoor sub 722 means message to appears in logs. Then we have flag A plus. So TCP flags. We have synac, synac plus, reset, SF. Then we have content. So this is a binary data to check in packet. So in this content, we can also define a pipe. To, so if we do content without pipe characters to do simple content match. Then we have reference. Where to go to look for background on this rule. Okay. Then we have a SID 103. So this is the rule identifier then we have a class type and uh, this class type referred to miscellaneous activity rule type many others then we have a revision number okay so other 
rule option possible like offset depth no case can also be applied in this note rules now we can see what are the dynamic rules so in dynamic rules we are going to activate we'll use activate keyword and we'll specify a dynamic keyword whenever an external activity happen over the port telnet port tt terminal port 20 and 63 okay so if any access suspicious activity happen over the telnet port then a dynamic rule will be activated and it will count the next packet next 100 packet on the port 23 okay so this is the rule is defined the same settings can be done using the tag station so this activate dynamic can also be done with alert and using the tag keyword so we will alert on the port 23 and we we'll log the next 100 packet okay so this tag keyword tells not to log the next 100 packet in the same session between attacker and victim ignoring other 423 traffic on the network so this is how the dynamic rules are applied using activate and dynamic keyword so there are many example of uh, so not rule example like uh, so this rule will trigger when it sees the digits x are decimal 90 so like this we have alert tcp any any the rule header is applied on all the packets and all the ip address and whenever we see a uh, content 90 it will alert the log so this is the rule of uh, smptv server so this is the another one port 161 snmp over the udp this applied over the udp and uh, more rule example like a rule which actually caught intrusion is on the sql server 1433 then another alert on the http server for 80 flag is a plus and the content executed with command.exe okay slow on the net we can find uh, various rule configuration of the bad traffic rules finger rules smtp rules dos rule tftp rules so all the rules we stored in the rule directory in this note installation and we activate from it there yeah thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries or concern over these note rules i'll try to answer over the comment thank you